you guys have um, basically kind of raised me. I've been there since I was, you know, 18, 19 years old. And, man, you guys uh, did nothing but uh, great things for me. Through the good and the bad, you guys supported me, um, you know, overall, through it all, and I appreciate it. And uh, definitely when I had the opportunity to be able to be loyal to you guys, um, that's the number one option, and, and loyalty is something I stand by. So thank you guys, and I appreciate everything. Obviously, uh, with Kevin going, it, it opened up a few things for me, uh, different different ways. But um, me just being able to see the team we had, the guys we had, the guys love being around them, the fans, the support. Uh, I felt like this was the best place for me and the, and the best team. And, um, you know, I love being here, and this is the place I wanted to be. There's no need to wait if you know where you want to be. Uh, there's no need to waste time. And, I'm a, I'm a straightforward type of guy, man. I, I'll shoot you straight, um, and there's no need to go back and forth and try to figure out any other options and create all this hoopla and rumors and all this stuff. Uh, this is where you want to be, and uh, that's what I made the decision based on. Did the fact that not only Kevin left, but it was to Golden State, did that make it sting even more? Sting for who? <laughs> you? Uh, man, listen. Uh, I understand free agency, I understand, uh, you know, have an opportunity to go where we need to go. But um, uh, once that happened, I, I told Sam, what's next? And to me, that's just my mentality to be able to find out now what's the next thing we need to do to help our team win. And that's all I'm worried about is to be able to find ways for us to come in and, and figure out how we can continue to win game and be uh, a great organization. Russ, I know that. You're, you're motivated to play every time you, you suit up, and you're probably going to tell me that, that you're, you're going to feel no different about playing Golden State. But given the way that series ended, and given the player they picked up, and you know just recently, how much will you relish stepping on the floor with those guys next season? You, you want to say it, or you want me to say it? <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather you say it. You know what I'm going to say, but I can tell you. But like I said before, um, no game is no bigger. No less, no player, um, no place. Um, and I mean, I stand behind that because I play every game like it's my last and I go out and compete regardless of who's on the floor. Um, regardless of we playing Golden State, Philadelphia, Milwaukee, it don't matter to me. My job is to go out and compete uh, you know, for our team. Russ, over here. Um, to your right. Um, you talked about how you know this is the place you want to be. You know, your contract technically is short-term in terms of yeah. what you've added on. Do you do you view this, though, as a, as a long-term move that you're kind of planting your flag in Oklahoma City? Uh, I mean, my job is to to be able to find somewhere that I want to be and want to play with a group of guys, and I figured this was the place where I want to be. I um, mean, obviously, uh, with the contracts and all the new CBA stuff, there's different ways you can do that, but uh, – me being able to have the opportunity to be able to extend and, and be here. Uh, that's what I wanted to do, and, you know, I, I stand behind that. Sam, Sam, when, uh, when Russell says, what's next, what's your initial feeling when, when, you, when you get that from Russell, when you get that question from him? My initial feeling? I mean, the thing about Russell is, I, the way my initial feeling is, this is Russell. He's, he doesn't look back. He's always looking forward. Um, he thinks about, um, he, I think that's a, that's a confidence. There's a confidence that comes with Russell that I've, I've seen for eight years. I mean, we sit at the end of the season or in a hotel lobby or something. And the one thing about him is he's, he's very direct. There's not. Not a lot of you don't have you don't need to interpret things with him. So when he's saying what's next, he's thinking like, okay, so how do we get better? And to me, that was an indication of like it wasn't like a uh, inquiry. It was like a unification. And, and so um, that was that was right when we started talking about well, there's this there is one option that we can look at, you know, at, and. I knew it would come as a kind of a surprise to him because it wasn't something that any of us had ever talked about, but the renegotiating extension was now possible. So I said, well, 
here's one thing that could be next. <laughs> uh, and and uh, I'd really like it to happen, by the way. Um, so it was, it was basically more like he's thinking forward. But again, that, there's, a, there's a component of leadership that's at play here that I don't think can be underestimated. Um, that this was not you know, something, as I said before, he, he, had, to, he had, had to do or even needed to do. He did it because he wanted to do it. And that was one of the things we talked about. I said, I want you to really want to do this. And, uh, you know, he took it in and thought about it. And, um, you know, I, when I said that, when he said that to me, I was like, this is great because these are the terms he thinks in. Nothing had changed because all the times that we've been together, I don't think I've ever walked out of a conversation with him thinking to myself, like, I don't, I don't know where he stands. I don't know what he thinks. I don't know what he means. It was right down the middle, um, direct, and I think he understood the gravity of, of, of his choice, of his decision. And um, you know, we're thrilled, we th we're thrilled with how he, how he decided to move forward. Thunder fans devastated earlier this NBA offseason when Kevin Durant chose not to resign with the team and go to the Warriors, but now they have something to smile about. League sources told ESPN Westbrook has agreed in principle to a deal with the Thunder for three years worth $85.7 million. Westbrook will make an extra $8.7 million this upcoming season. He has a player option for the third season. Stephen A., how bad does this make KD look? Well, it depends on how you look at it. Um, if Kevin Durant had come out and said that, you know what, I just don't want to be in Oklahoma City anymore. I want to be in some place, like my man Chris Rock says, where you can order sushi at 4 in the morning <laughs> as opposed to Oklahoma City, then he doesn't look bad. Uh, but if you're talking about being in a situation and not departing from a winning situation and not being perceived as jumping on a bandwagon, I think Kevin Durant looks very bad because by Russell Westbrook signing this deal, clearly it's not a long-term deal. He's only really committing for one additional year. Uh, he's getting himself about a $9 million raise. It was a good business decision on his part, no doubt, but it also showed a willingness to play and to stay in OKC, not escape to Los Angeles or anywhere else. We were speculating that he might want to go. And in the end, what it comes down to is this. Kevin Durant didn't believe that winning with Russell Westbrook was a possibility. You can slice it any way you want to. In the end, if you're chasing a championship, Kevin Durant chose Steph Curry over Russell Westbrook. You can slice it any way you want. He can try to couch it. He can try to massage it. He can try to sit there and wiggle his way around it. Who gives a damn? That's what this comes down to. Because Russell Westbrook making the claim and the proclamation that indeed he's willing to stay in OKC with Steven Adams and Victor Oladipo there with him, carrying this team or whatever. You can sit there and speculate that he wants to be the man, and obviously that is, there's some truth to that because he likes shooting the basketball. There's no doubt about that. He's a career 21 point, 21 point per game scorer. We know how electrifyingly athletic he is, the most athletic point guard in the history of the NBA, if that's what you really want to call him, a point guard. But in the end, Kevin Durant can slice it any way he wants to. He preferred the thought of playing with Steph Curry more so than playing with Russell Westbrook. That's what this move comes down to because Russell Westbrook saying that he's not willing to leave in all likelihood is something that he made clear to Kevin Durant and Kevin Durant chose to part ways anyway, Mike. If, I'm you, if, you're, if your thesis is that this makes Durant look bad, then Stephen A, Mr. Basketball, I respectfully disagree. Mm. <laughs> Look, in the moment, Westbrook wins the headline. Westbrook wins the hearts of the old school guys who consider it, you know, the tough guy, old school way to, damn it, you stay where you are and you try to make best, we you know, with what you got. He'll win the headline today and he'll make Durant look bad today. But that's okay because there'll be more headlines tomorrow and the headlines will read eventually. Kevin Durant made it to X finals and that X can be more than one on that squad. And one y, y finals and that Y is probably going to be more than one on that squad too. So history will record. And then years from now, there'll be documentaries about how, well, Westbrook never won a title, but you have to understand he was the guy who stayed there. And 
what were Westbrook's options? And Westbrook is my favorite player in the NBA. That guy, like, has rabies when he plays. That guy is unbridled aggression. There's no one I like to watch more than Russell Westbrook. But what were his options? He's not a free agent. So any team that traded for him would have to gut their team, and he wouldn't be going to a very talented team. And then even look at the teams who could really use him to put him over the top. A lot of them have point guards. What was he supposed to do? So what did he do? He optimized his money by getting paid now, by having opt-outs when he gets 10 years in the league, so he gets a new max deal at new max money. He did the smart thing. I don't think it makes Durant look bad at all. Well, he did the smart thing from a business perspective. And it's not a matter of Durant looking looking bad because he decided to leave OKC. I've been on the record saying I have no problem with Kevin Durant deciding to leave, leave OKC. I had a problem with him picking the go to the team that actually knocked him off and that actually beat him. But you also have to remember that Kevin Durant is after championships. Kevin Durant wants a ring. Kevin Durant was on a championship contender and decided to go to the very team that beat him who happens to have the reigning two-time league MVP who plays the same position as Russell Westbrook. So essentially, what you're saying, after coming to Russell Westbrook's defense in press conferences where Mark Cuban talked about him and other places where other media pundits and beyond have talked about Russell Westbrook, the number one protector, the number one defender of Russell Westbrook was Kevin Durant. Yet when it was time and you had an opportunity to make a decision, you chose somebody over Russell Westbrook in order to go and play with them. Now, I'm not saying that makes Kevin Durant look bad, but I'll tell you what, it does make him look a bit disingenuous considering how so quickly he was willing to come to the defense of Russell Westbrook only to jump jump, and, you know, just skip out of town the second he had an opportunity to. In the end, again, it doesn't make Kevin Durant look bad. I don't mean to imply that. What I'm trying to say is let's be real. Let's be real. In the end, it comes down to one reality and one reality. You did not believe you could win a championship with Russell Westbrook. Well, well, That's what you're saying. Now, well, oh, by the way, just to get to your point, because you're quick to sit up there and say, Stephen A., is the insider talking? Did you hear this from somebody? Or is this what you believe? <laughs> Let me clarify. When it comes to this particular issue, yes, I have people close to Kevin Durant. Regardless of what he thinks, I am telling you what they said. He cannot win. His what their words were. He cannot win a championship with Russell Westbrook, Stephen A. And you damn well know it. And I said, did Kevin Durant say that? And they said, no comment. This what I that now that's the insider. What I deduce from that is clearly that's what you believe. And clearly you were convinced to believe that. And you might not have needed to be convinced to believe that. But it's clear you don't feel that Russell Westbrook was going to facilitate you capturing a championship. So all of this bloviating in his defense all of these years seems a bit disingenuous at this what point. What do you want him to do when that's his teammate? That's I his agree. That's his partner in crime. He's got to pump him up. Now, you don't want to turn that's Russell Westbrook... Was wrong. You don't want to turn Russell Westbrook into something that he's not. You can not You can only taper... You can only tamper with his, his kind of aggression so much. But I can't hold it against Kevin Durant that he spoke out and spoke up for what Russell Westbrook while they Look. were teammates, but that when it came down to him making a decision for his career, Stephen A, he's looking at 30 in the not too distant future, and he's looking at Westbrook, who's more talented than Steph Curry or anyone on the on the word, more talented, but he's looking at the Warriors and saying, why do I? Why does this have to be so hard in terms of the way, way we play? Why does it have to be a question who but, gets the last shot? Why do we have to be playing in isolation so much? I want to play the right way with those guys. You know who gets the last shot? The open man. I don't want to have to worry with all you know, those you know, other kind you know, of things. You know, you know what? You should be ashamed of yourself. I can't believe you just uttered those words out of your mouth. That you know, and, and I understand you cover the sport of boxing, and in the end, that's an individual sport because you're in that boxing ring all by yourself. I do get that point. I do get that reaction. But let's also not act like you don't know when you're talking about elite 
athletes, how you duck and run for cover with the team that beat you. When they won, when they were up 3-1, Kevin Durant had everything to do with them losing that 3-1 lead. It wasn't just Russell Westbrook. Even though Russell Westbrook and him combined and turned over the ball six of their last eight possessions. You know why I didn't bring, blame Russell Westbrook for that? Because the mistakes that Russell Westbrook made, he always made. It was Kevin Durant that looked a bit different. It was him going down, ah. taking shots one or two. It was him forcing the issue. It was him looking like and the, the antithesis of what we knew Kevin Durant to be. And again, he's not wrong. I'm not trying to come across as he's wrong, nor am I trying to come across as him being somebody that should have dimed out his players or called out his teammate. What I'm saying is, Max, there does come a point in time where you can shut the hell up. You can sit up there and go like this. Well, you know what? I'm not going to dog my teammate, but what I'm not going to do is come to his defense every chance I get and dog out anybody who has something accurate to say about him when in the end, your actions are indicative of exactly what pundits were saying about him. You chose the Golden State Warriors over Oklahoma City because you chose Steph Curry over Russell Westbrook because and you believe you got a better shot of winning a title with him than with your man that was by your side for the last seven, and eight years. Not just, That's the reality. Not just Steph. That's the reality. And Clay Thompson. And Draymond Green. Sure. And Steve Kerr. And Andre Iguodala. They have a bunch of unselfish players. A lot of them can shoot the lights out, too, by the way, which is not the case in OKC. Who should shoot the ball in OKC from a right. distance at this point? Right. But I, I want to get back to what you said about how they both choked, Westbrook and Durant, I don't know. down the stretch. I don't you think said, Russell Westbrook Well, talked. Westbrook didn't play well down yeah, yeah, the stretch. Yeah, but, but, but he but usually does it. it. Ah. But he usually does it at times. Right. Oh. Kevin Durant, my definition of choking is when you turn you into something, something else. When you turn into something else. So, when time so gets why tight. do you let Westbrook off the hook for the fact that he frequently because, does that? Because he, because that's always been his game. Because he's aggressive and he's a rat. And, and, that's and why. What, look at Miami with LeBron and Wade. Now, it was a new team, new dynamic, etc. Though there was a new coach in OKC. Look at that dynamic. Part of the problem early is they came into conflict. Whose team is it? Who's going to get the ball, etc. until Wade deferred because LeBron's superior talent just took over. Westbrook had closed the gap with Durant. It was not clear whose team it was. It was not clear who was alpha when they were on the floor. It was disrupting chemistry. And Durant tried to extricate himself from that and go to a team, by the way, which when he was on OKC, they were more talented than Golden State. I can't yeah. knock him for that.